Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Smart Investor channel. So today we're going to take a closer look at the bill that was voted out yesterday post market in regards to the listing Chinese company so that was completed as I had stated on my previous video of yesterday it was likely that this would get passed so it has been passed companies like Alibaba, Neo, or Chinese Investments, right? So today we're going to take a look at the bill that was voted out. What are the main highlights? But as well, what does that mean for our investments? And where am I going to position myself in terms of Neo and Alibaba, for instance? So stay tuned before I go there. Please smash that like button. It really helps the channel. And as well, subscribe to not miss any video. And hit that bell so that notifies you when I do do a video. So I'm here every morning to give a bright highlight on the market so we can know what how to act uh, on the moment. All right, so the U.S. Congress did clear out the bill that threatens to delist the Chinese companies, as I said, such as Alibaba, Pinduoduo, Neo, and so on, right? So what does this entail? As I expressed yesterday on my video, companies will have three years to comply to U.S. regulations, right? So if they do not carry out and they do not comply to these regulations, they will be kicked out by no later three years uh, from today's, right? So that's a very important to note. You got to keep notified yourself of the news you'll have in your Chinese investments. It's really important to see what direction those companies will take. Now, it's unlikely, like I said, in this scenario, that uh, the great Chinese companies will decide to not comply as they will get kicked out. And a lot of investment uh, they had was from Americans, right? From the US stock market. So this wouldn't be good, right? And they said it here, right? So companies like JD, Pondodo, um, are in the NASDAQ, right? Or international exchange. So if they were delisted, it would hurt them companies but also the stock market right because they collect a lot of fees from these companies so this is a high volume so this is not a win-win situation right and it and, and it's bad for business as they say so um everybody's very motivated here to comply unless they have some really shady um uh, books right as we notice for candy as an example the good news here guys is everybody who was worried about neo um you know even even Xpeng or other companies out there like Alibaba, like I said, big companies will usually uh, comply as they know that this is a lot of green money, right? Involved in profits that could go away. Um, Neo spokesman told Barron's that the company was aware of the situation. So that means before the bill passed and has been become compliant over the past few months. So this is great, guys. I mean, uh, for somebody to come out here from Neo and say that and express that, it just shows the willingness, right? For, so reality from, uh, of course, fiction. So we obviously we don't have the book, so we don't know, but it's reassuring to have Neo uh, come out and say this, right? So guys, uh, I, I think given that we had already spoken about this, we had foreseen the scenario of this being the case, the listing, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk shortly about the market and Neo, uh, but I believe personally that the market had already priced in this bad news. As you saw in the last uh, three days, it's been just a bloody bath, right, for all the Chinese companies, right? So it's been falling. That's why uh, Xpeng, uh, Liado, and Neo were fall free falling, right? So hopefully you guys uh, grab those dips. So that's it for uh, the news. Let's move on now to the stock. All right, guys. So let's take a look at Neo here, for example. So pre market, they're at $47.34. So that's 1.30% uh, less than yesterday when it closed. And uh, as you can see, I mean, it's not significant, right? The the house bill passed yesterday, uh, post market, like I said. So the post market uh, and pre market um, tendency is not significant, right? As opposed to the during the daytime. So like I said, I believe that this bad news of the house passing the bill has already been priced. It makes just total sense. Let's look at X Bank, for example, as well, right? They're currently sitting at 55 and 78. They actually even went up right towards the end of, uh, of the day as they closed yesterday. And Alibaba was in the red yesterday, but they're actually going up the pre-market, right? So like I said, the, the people who were on panic mode, selling, 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 they've already passed that wave, right? Today, though, you might see some volatility in these three stocks. So be aware of that if you're purchasing or selling out. There would be volatility, right? Uh, I think there's a lot of people, for example, Neil, when it hit $38 yesterday, everybody, you know, hit that 
buy button there was definitely clearly a support level at that point and there's a lot of people that felt that was a great opportunity to, to start a position or reinforce a position into neo for example same thing for xpeng okay right so that's really really interesting um i don't suspect this to really go if it goes down i don't think it's going to we're going to see like a 15 20 percent again that being said you know it is volatile but uh i suspect that this should consolidate i hope uh, so that would be healthy for the stocks and then go upwards, right? So stay tuned, guys. This should be an interesting day and rest of the week. Uh, I'll personally be purchasing more of NEO if it falls below, again, 44, uh, especially if it gets to 40. And <laughs> fingers crossed in terms of investment for long term. But if it goes below 40, I'll definitely be buying again uh, heavily into this. Uh, that's my position here. Xpeng, same thing, right? If it goes uh, into the dip side, I'll be purchasing. Alibaba, you know, has been consolidating. You know, this one's a bit tricky. Um, I'll, I'll talk more in a separate video on this one, but definitely Alibaba, I think, is a great, tremendous opportunity here. Um, they dropped significantly from the 300s uh, a week ago or so, I think, right? So uh, there's a lot here uh, that needs to be talked about. So that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully you like the content, the news, the update. Uh, that's my position as far as I'm concerned. And if you did like the content, please hit smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to not miss any videos. And uh, listen, juicy profits uh, today, I hope, for you guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.